In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the new Stable Cascade model in Comfy UI, show you where to get the models, where to install the models inside Comfy UI, and some tips and suggestions for experimentation. So let's get going. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to get the models and save them in the appropriate spot. So you're going to head over to Stability AI's Hugging Face repo for Stable Cascade. I'll include the link in the description below. And we're going to need to download a couple different models. And there's also some different options depending on your graphics card and what it can handle. So uh, we're going to be focusing mainly on mid to upper level graphics cards for this workflow, but I'll also walk through what you can do for lower memory graphics cards. So you're going to need to get uh, stage A, and this is going to sort of function like a VAE in this workflow. You're also going to need to get a stage B. Uh, if you have 12 gigabytes or more on your video card, I recommend uh, just getting either stage B or stage B16. I haven't really noticed any perceptible differences between generations done with uh, stage B, the 16-bit uh, float model here, versus the just stage B. So I recommend to save space and generation time uh, to get these float 16 models. So you're going to need that, and you're also going to need the stage C. If you've got a lower memory graphics card, you're going to want to get the light versions of these models rather than the default versions of these models. So you need to get those downloaded, and then you also need to head into the text encoder folder and get the model.safe tensors right here. So you're going to download those, and then we're going to head into our Comfy UI folder and make sure that we get them in the right spot. You may also be using an alternative spot to store your models, depending on how you have that set up. You'll want to use the related directories that you have set up for yourself. So we're going to head into the Comfy UI Windows Portable folder. We're going to head into the Models folder, and we're going to move these in the appropriate spot. So I actually do have my models stored in a separate folder, um, but I'll just walk through these with you and tell you what you're going to need to put yours. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is put your stage A model into the VAE folder. So stage A in the VAE folder. Then you're going to want to put your stage B and stage C models in the UNet folder. And finally, you're going to want to take that model that we downloaded here from the text encoder directory and place that in your clip folder. And once that's all done, you're going to want to head into Comfy UI. If you have Comfy UI Manager, you're going to want to go there. You're going to want to update Comfy UI. And once that is done, restart Comfy UI. And then once you have all that done, you should be ready to go. And so I'll go ahead and include this workflow for people to use. We'll just go ahead and walk through this real quick and then do a generation so you can see how it looks. So first thing that we're doing is we're loading our stage B and C models as well as the text encoder. If you have multiple models in your clip folder and you already have a model named model.safetensors, you want to rename the model used for stable cascade to anything else could be cascade underscore model, uh, really anything that seems appropriate. And then you'll load that in. And then in type, you'll go ahead and make sure you have stable cascade selected. Uh, right here, this is this is something you can play around with and see how it affects your generations. Two and three tend to be good values to experiment with, see what kind of different results you get. But then, of course, we have our positive and negative prompt. And this is a new node that was added, which is why we needed to update Comfy UI, which allows for the creation of latents using the stable cascade method, 
which uh, starts with a very, very compressed generation and then basically takes that and decompresses it in a way that allows for less memory usage and faster generations while still getting good, sharp quality in the final generation. And all of these values are, are taken from the Stable Cascade repo just to match what they've done there. But you can still experiment with some of these values and see how that affects your generation. And then basically the, uh, the stage A is used as the VAE in this workflow. Uh, so let's go ahead and run it and see what kind of generations we get. So we're just, we got a happy panda holding a sign that says, hello. And there we go. So you can see that this model or this method rather does text pretty well. We only have one that doesn't look so great. Uh, and pretty good image quality, definitely some flaws, but the prompts I used were very simple. No negative prompt, no real specification. So there you go. That's Stable Cascade in Comfy UI. Uh, this is definitely still a work in progress. So the models and method will likely improve and the implementation in Comfy UI will likely change and improve over time as well. So yeah, have fun with it. Mess around. There's definitely some interesting things about it, some things that it does better than STXL, some things that it does not do quite as well. But certainly the future of this method is promising, and it'll be really interesting to see the fine tunes that come out over the next couple of months and what people do with this. So thanks for listening. Catch you soon.